All right, let's take a second to look at the notification and reporting. We'll go up to Options and Agent Options. And now you have the ability to fill out some SMTP server information, the ports, the username, the passwords, the to and the froms. Um, also, you have the ability to include a subject suffix or a body prefix. So if you want to put in a specific string so you know what server this is coming from, you have the ability to do that as well. You can be emailed on success and failure. You can be sent a daily report and a weekly report. And then you can choose the time of day that you would like the daily and the weekly report to come in on. One thing that I'd like to point out, when you set up your SMTP information, when you click into each different field, notice the hints here, the notes down here are going to tell you what it's looking for. And you know, it even will give you a hint um, for, you know, if you're using like Gmail, hey, you want to use port 65, you know, 465 and do plain and so on. So don't forget to use these notes when you're setting it up and also use the test email button to make sure that that email is getting to you correctly.